Hi, my crafty friends. Welcome. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I have another shaped card that I'm going to be creating in this video. It seems like you guys really liked my last shaped card, and it was in the shape of a butterfly. And today's shaped card is in the shape of a painter's palette. This is from a new release from Spellbinders called Paint Your World. And I have the little painter's palette here as well as a stamp set. So it comes with this giant painter's palette and then a paintbrush, a paint tube, and lots of little details to add to these, as well as four different shapes of paint dollops. It's a really fun set. And then I have the Paint Your World sentiments. And there are so many fabulous sentiments in this set. The one I'm going to be using today says, Paint Your Dreams. But I also really like the sentiments that say, Live your life in color, create something every day, craftiness is happiness. There's just so many. And then uh, my favorite color is rainbow is really cute too. But you get a lot of perfect sentiments to go along with this release. So I'm going to go ahead and start die cutting out all of my pieces and then we'll put this card together. So this is what the painter's palette looks like once you cut it out. And I cut it out twice, but I'll put that second one aside for a minute while we work on our card. I'm using some anti-static powder on this panel because I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment with some black Versafine ink. I'm just using my acrylic block to stamp this onto the panel. And I love how sketchy looking the word dreams is. It's really cute. I'll grab out a piece of type paper and pour over the clear embossing powder. Then I can funnel the rest of it back into the bottle. But let's melt this sentiment. It just takes a second. But I did allow my heat tool to warm up first so it doesn't warp the paper. Now let's start putting these pieces together. We'll start with the paint brushes and I'm putting two layers together just to make it more of a substantial piece on this card. And I cut it out with black cardstock. I should mention I cut out the white painter's palette with very heavyweight white cardstock. It's Nina Solar White 110 pound. So now let's attach the ferrule to the brush and I cut this out with some iridescent silver mirror cardstock. I'll attach the bristles later. I wasn't sure which color to use for that yet. But I pulled out some salvage patina, some picked raspberry and some squeezed lemonade. And I'm going to color in the paint dollops with these three different paints. This is some more of the 110 pound cardstock. I want it to be nice and heavyweight because I am going to be adding some glossy accents over these dollops. I'm putting the ink down in its full color, as dark as I can get it. And then I am going to attach these to another piece of white cardstock. I cut them out twice, just so I make it really heavy and substantial. I'll just use a little bit of liquid glue to put these together. I really like that the dollops are all different shapes, and then it leaves a nice little cutout for a highlight if you wanted to paper piece that back in with white. But I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with that highlight in just a minute. Let's put the pink one together. And of course, you could cut these out with colored cardstocks if you didn't want to get out your inks or paints or anything. And you could put, of course, as many paint dollops as you want on the front of your card. I was going to put seven of them, all the different colors of the rainbow, but I decided I'm just going to use the three for this card. I didn't want to make it too busy, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is going to be fun. Okay, I'm putting a square foam on the back of all of these dollops. But I don't want to attach them to my card just yet because I'm going to add some paint to the palette. I want it to look kind of messy like somebody's been using it to paint with. So we'll start with the salvage patina. I'm using a very small uh, ink brush to apply this and I don't want a smooth blend. I'm just having fun putting down some of this pretty color. Next I'll come in with the squeezed lemonade and do the same thing. Just kind of tap it onto the front of this panel. 
And I want it to overlap with the salvaged patina so that I can get a pretty green color, just a little bit of green in between these two colors. So I go back and forth between the yellow and the blue. And then where they meet, I'll even kind of blend it a little more vigorously so I can get that green color. And then I'll use the picked raspberry. And we'll do the same thing, just tap on some color and I'll overlap it with the yellow. I'll even add color up into the sentiment. And then when the ink gets on the embossed lines, you can easily wipe that off with a tissue or a cloth. I'll blend the yellow and the pink to get a pretty orange color in between these. And I think this looks so cute on the front of this card. I'll add a little more color up into the sentiment. I'll attach the paint dollops after I'm done with all of my ink blending on this panel. But I want the ink to go right up under the dollops of paint. So I just go keep going back and forth between these three colors. Once I put the paint dollops on, I will make sure that the highlight is on the outside so it shows through the white cardstock. That way it will look like a highlight. So let's clean off the sentiment one last time and start peeling off the backing from these paint dollops. And then I'll turn it around here again so that it shows through white. Now for the yellow, I think this, these three colors are so pretty together. And then last, we'll attach the blue. The paintbrush bristles, I decided to use picked raspberry for one of them. I'm going to put two paintbrushes on this card. I'll put the darkest color down at the base of the bristles. And then I'll attach this with a little drop of glue. And the handle to the brush is really cute. It's hard to see on camera, but it is etched. So it, it looks like a wooden handle. The bristles also have the etched details on them. It looks so cute. And I like how the black kind of coordinates with the black of the sentiment. So let's attach these paint brushes to the card now. We'll put the yellow paint brush down first, and then the pink, and I'll just overlap them just below the ferrule on the brushes. I'm going to stop here and put this panel aside for a minute and show you how to create this into a card. So this is the second panel that I die cut, and I pulled out my scoreboard and I'm just scoring it along the top of this panel. I like to reinforce it several times because it is such thick cardstock. And then I can gently bend it back. So I'll add liquid glue or you could add double-sided adhesive or whatever you'd like. And then I can attach the front panel to this. And this will fit in an A2-sized envelope. I'm trying to line them up perfectly. But isn't that just a fun shaped card? I'll pinch the top just to make sure it's good and secure. Now this is the coward's way <laughs> to add paint spatters. I should have added my paint spatters before I put down my brushes. So I didn't want any paint spatters over my brushes. So I'm just coming in with some Jelly Roll pens to add some very controlled paint spattering. I do think this card would be a lot more cute with the real paint spatter using the three Distress Oxide inks that I blended on the front of this card. But that's okay. I'll just have to make up another card. This was a really fun card to create. So now let's come in with some glossy accents and go right over the paint dollops. I'm getting a few air bubbles 
in the glossy accents. So I'm just using a pin to pop those and make it a little more smooth. I'm using a lot of the glossy accents and then taking it right to the edge. I'll also go over the bristles on the paint brushes with the glossy accents. And that finishes off the card. I'll have all of the product links listed in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of these out. Thanks for spending some of your time with me today. I hope that you were inspired. Take care, my crafty friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye.